Hey guys, I'm Diving Squid, and this is the fourth episode in my multiplayer series. In the last episode, we synced up player movement, added gamer tags, and a ping button to the top of our screen. Today, we're going to look at creating a disconnect panel and join and leave feeds. So I'm going to start with the disconnect panel, and I'm going to go to our game canvas and create a new image. Stretch it to the size of our screen, and then lower the opacity of it. I'm also going to create a new empty game object stretch it to the size of the screen and drag our image as a child of it. I'm going to rename this empty game object disconnect menu on our image background. I'm going to create a new UI button under our disconnect menu and again I'm going to alter how it looks in the font and everything until I'm happy with it. Then go to your game manager script, open it up inside of Visual Studio, start by creating a private bool called off and initially set it to false. Then create a new private check input function and inside this we're going to start coding our disconnect button. So I'm going to create an if statement and inside this if off and we press the escape key or whatever key you want to bring up our disconnect panel and then we're going to create a new game object to actually get our disconnect panel so I'm going to call it disconnect UI and then back in our if statement set disconnect UI dot set active to false. Also set our off boolean to false and then inside of an else if statement stating if not off and input dot get key down key code escape or again whatever key you want it to be we're going to set our disconnect UI panel equal to true and also set our off equal to true down at the bottom of our script we're going to create a new public function called leave room and inside this type photon network dot leave room and then photon network dot load level and then whatever your scenes called mine's main menu this is going to get our player going back to the main menu screen when they leave the game. Also make sure to call your check input function inside the update function. Now back in Unity on our button I need to type leave game on our text and then drag our disconnect menu into the slot on our game manager's script. Now on our button I'm going to add an on click event and drag our game manager into the game object slot and then select game manager and our leave room function that we created. Then disable our entire disconnect menu because it will be enabled through script in the game when we click escape and then drag our event system into our game canvas canvas then hit play to test out our new buttons so I'm just going to enter a username to join photon network hit create start to create a game and then click escape and you'll see our disconnect panel comes up and if we click leave game it takes us back to the main menu now we're going to create a join and leave feed so inside our game canvas I'm going to create a new image and scale it to the size of feed I want. I'm going to add a grid layout component and then I'm going to add a new UI text as a child of our image. Drag it in and it will automatically snap to place. Give our grid layout group a cell size of around 330. You can adjust this how you like it. Then you'll see on our text if we duplicate it, it duplicates down the panel. We're going to type in player joined and left the game because this is what we want to show up when a player joins or leaves. And then I'm going to again edit it to the font and colour I'd like. Once you're happy with this, go back to our image and then change the child alignment to lower centre. If you duplicate it again, you'll see it'll come up the way this time, which is how I want it. Now rename our image grid something like feed grid and then rename our text something like player feed. And then we're going to start coding the feed. So I'm going to first of all drag our player feed into the resources folder and delete it from the scene because it's now a prefab, then open up our game manager script. So inside this I'm going to create a new public game object called player feed and a public game object called feed grid. Then I'm going to create a new function and I'm going to call it on photon player connected. Make sure you spell it right as it's a pre-made photon function. I'm going to pass the parameters photon player player and then inside it I'm going to set game object dot obj equal to instantiate player player feed and new vector to 00, zero quaternion dot identity then obj dot transform set parent feed grid dot transform false and then we're going to get our text component and then we're going to set it equal to the player name plus join the game i'm also going to change my color of the text just to make it more obvious to the player that a player has joined so i'm going to change it to green then you want to copy this entire function and paste it, but we're going to change the function name to on photon player disconnected. Also make sure to change the text that shows up to player name plus left the game. 
and also change the colour to something like red to also make it obvious. Then save the script and head back to Unity, where on our player feed prefab, we're going to add a destroy feed script to de eventually destroy the text after a certain number of seconds. This is a short script, so create a public float called destroy time and set it to something like 4 seconds. And then inside a private void on enable, we're going to just destroy the game object after the destroy time, which for my is 4 seconds. Then back in our scene, I'm going to go on to our game manager script and drag in our feed grid and player feed. That's all we need to do for our join and leave feed, but to test it you're going to need to build the game because you're going to need two devices to play from, or just two builds. So if you join the game in your Unity scene and then join the game as a separate build, you'll see that the feed grid works perfectly, and if you leave again, it'll also say that our player left the game. That's all for this tutorial. Thank you for all the support on my channel so far, I've passed 100 subscribers in such a short time and it's crazy. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss the next video, which will be the last multiplayer tutorial on how to add a chat function where your players can talk to each other. If you'd like to support me more, check out my Patreon, the link's in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.